talk to you on the phone the other day. I, uh, the rest, nobody saw me do this. I don't think I can recall. Who might be a great example of this? And I made a few calls. And I landed on talking to Brother Dorset here. And when I got all done, I go, yes! <laughs> so he's, they're all going to tell us something we can benefit from. That's what this is all about. So, if you all notice the questions there in our kingdom ministry, we're going to go down this list of questions and we're all going to have fun talking. So, thank you for doing this. Our first question. Of what does your program consist? So, what do you do? Well, the first thing me and Debbie take each week kind of as at a time when we look at what the evil might be going through at school or what might be coming up in the congregation that she doesn't understand and we'll take time to discuss that. Um, and other than that we usually, if we don't have anything that came up for that week, um, right now we're studying Imitate Their Faith and then we'll do some of the Bible reading and then now we're reading some of the, uh, we're reading the yearbook together. Well, do a lot of things. I got short attention span. So I gotta mix it up. All right, so you really mix it up. So it could vary from week to week. Uh, does anybody else in the family have a comment on that particular question or not? You don't have to. So do you get bored, Eva? Is there always something new and different to do every week? Well, I like family worship because I can learn about Jehovah and I'm really starting and I'm really trying to get more close to him. What's the most exciting thing you've done in family worship yet? Well, when I was younger, we used to play dramas according to the Bible story book. Oh, okay. So you get dressed up and things <coughs> like that? Yeah. Okay. Did your dad ever play Moses with the staff? No. Uh -uh. <laughs> I used to do that. Oh, I'm sorry. So you do a wide variety of things. You're kind of looking ahead to the next week. What can you use for that week? Maybe what Evie's got going on. You mentioned or maybe you got something else. Go on. Yeah, sometimes if there's questions about maybe some of the holidays that are going on, or some of the different um, the flag salute, some of the different things at school that she comes across, or you know, problems with other kids or things that she's seen. Just really any concerns that, that she has or that she needs special attention for, we try to zoom in on, on that. Very good. That's the way to do it. Well, that kind of almost answers that next question. Uh, how do they determine what to discuss? So you mentioned they imitate their faith book. That's that new bigger one with Abraham on the cover, I think. So I, um, my wife and I have talked about that book. There's the really, really examples in there. Really nice. Um, did you ever, did you build something one time? I think I remember a while back you built a, the ark or you did a city or you did something like that. We did what the was? paradise. That's what it was? Paradise? Okay. So you made little trees? Rivers? Yeah, I did something from <clears throat> Anything else on the subject of figuring out what to do? That's one of my problems. There's so many things you could do that it's hard to make a decision. And so, I mean, you suffer with that too. There's just, it's like the floodgate is open. What do you do? So, I'm glad you have a plan. You think about it. You strategize about it. That's, that's excellent. Let's try that other one. What tools available on JW.org have you used? So, this is a big one. What are some things on the website? Well, I like to look at the videos with Caleb and Sophia. Um, the new one, Be Kind and Share. I sometimes watch it while I'm eating breakfast before I go to school. And it helps me get ready for school and ready for the day. Hmm. What are their names again? Caleb and Sophia. My wife and I watched one of those last night. That was really cool. And it was the sharing one. Anything else? There's all kinds of stuff on there. Well, we uh, will download the children's activities and then the 
the children's section, and we'll go over that. And it's um, a lot of times they're laid out so easy that you can't explain them better yourself. So it's best it, it's best just to read it right down the list that they put together for you. And then too, there's so many videos on the website that not only um, ones specifically designed for the children, but also you know what's going on now with Bethel and the rebuilding work, and um, Eva has one that she's especially for sure. us right now. Yeah. It's the new one with the Philippines and what happened with the flood. That, uh, yeah, the tropical storm. Yeah. I really enjoy it because the brothers were sent there to encourage the people, but they actually got encouraged by the smiles of the people and how the people were very strong. Yes. So we got current news events like uh, developments in Russia, and the Supreme Court, that kind of thing. Hurricanes, tropical storms. What else is on there that you, you try to? Well, there's, there's all the music, okay, um, the songs, and then the dramas, we downloaded the dramas, and then the um, dramatic Bible readings, where it actually has you know, a portion of the Bible with the different people taking on the different roles. And there's, there's really so many different things on there. Can I wear a lot of to read something? Okay. Well, you know, your school's an overseer, isn't the sharpest tack of the box either. So I gotta go on there, and I gotta have the guy read the, some of those names. I can't get them on, so I'm very grateful for that. So you got your, your, your categories, you got uh, for adults or, or, or married people or parents, you got the category. And you got teens, I think, is on there. And then children. Oh. For the teenagers, there's how to beat a bully without using your fists and what to do a friend, which are some of my favorite videos because it's cool because it's a whiteboard and it teaches you stuff of how not to bully people and to make a friend. Well, there's a lot of stuff on there, and you just keep drilling down and exploring and find more and more, don't you? Well, how has the program helped you in the ministry? That's where the rubber meets the road here. Well, it's really drawn us closer together as a family, and it's helped us to get more, uh, gets us using the Bible more so we know where the different scriptures are in the Bible so that we can use them at different times. <coughs> We look up the important scriptures. Eva's gotten really good at uh, following along in the Bible and looking up all the scriptures. That when we are at the door, she can follow along with us. Excellent. Is our pioneer benefit from that? Definitely. The more you know, the more you study and the more you put in your brain, the more you hold you pull it out at the doors. And so, with Eva too, having to memorize some of the shorter scriptures. And practice reading scriptures that she can read at the door. It's one of her favorite ones. Has really been beneficial. Thank you for giving her time. So. Revelation twenty one four. Okay. Revelation. Okay. And he will wipe out every tear from their eye, and death will be no more. Neither mourning nor no crying nor pain be anymore. The former things have passed away. Very good. Excellent. So keep up the good work, keep memorizing scriptures. That's great. Thank you. All right, let's see. Oh, here's a good one. How do you prevent other activities from disrupting your schedule? You just we started we just simply have to say no to everything. We started on Tuesdays, then it seemed like everything came up, so then we moved to Wednesday, and then everything changed and started coming up on Wednesdays. So then we went back to Tuesdays, and finally we just thought, this is, no, nothing else interferes. If a uh, study has to reschedule, we do it on another day. If, you know, there's things getting together with people doing stuff, we just simply say no to all other things, and we just uh, take Tuesday nights and focus on 
What's the approximate time on Tuesday night that you do it? Well, between 6 and 6.30 till 7. Is that night? <laughs> no, my attention span won't last that long, so <laughs> we're good to get about an hour out of me. Okay, so nobody call the horse that's Tuesday night at 6.30. Okay. All right. That's the way you got to do it. You just got to put your foot down, you know, we don't change the watchtower meeting. Unless there's a blizzard. Or other meetings. All the meetings are set, and then everybody can kind of play in on that. <coughs> Imagine as a homemaker, a pioneer that helps you, you just know what you got to do that day, right? Very good. Let's consider the last question. How have you benefited from the program of family worship? So we talked about ministry benefits, but just in general, how have you benefited, whether it's as an individual or a family or some other way? Um, I think the truth is really um, the stabilizing <coughs> force in my life and our life and so no matter what is going on around you or in your life or the craziness that we're going through you keep that you keep that regular, keep your study regular keep your family worship regular and that um, helps you just stay <coughs> solid no matter what's going on around. Jehovah doesn't change, the truth doesn't change, and so the more you learn about that and study about that, it really uh, stabilizes out your life. Excellent. It's an anchor. Yep. Anything else? The thing is it's helped us to get a good look inside Eva's head when we're studying because there's things that she comprehends that you think you're going to spend hours trying to explain it to her, and she gets it. Wow. Whereas there's other things that you assume she knows, and it turns out she doesn't know it, so then you take that time to correct her thinking and help her to understand it. So it's really helped us, to, me and Debbie both, to get to know Eva on a different level, more than just a daughter, but as a spiritual sister. Wow, your parents are proud of you. I you think you're as smart as you look. You really are. So, well, yes, just keep using it. JW Dog is to be the way of the future. It's fun. And uh, I can remember the days where we just picked up a plain old book with no pictures, 400 pages, and it was hard to study. But now you don't have that anymore. So, Jehovah cares about families, He cares about children. You've got the tools, the resources there, anywhere in the world you could practically access that information. So what a blessing to have. It's a blessing to have a family like you setting that example in our congregation. We appreciate that. Thank you very much.